Shamaka J. Uwadoka, and this is Africa in 10 Minutes, where we bring to you the top business news of the week as reported on Footprints to Africa. This week, music superstar Akon lights up communities for students, the European Investment Bank records its largest loan to UBA till date, and a leading German firm expands its footprints into Africa. The European Investment Bank and the United Bank for Africa have agreed on a new 60 million euro lending program to support private sector investments across Nigeria. This represents the bank's largest ever loan to UBA. Under the new initiative, UBA would be able to provide longer term loans than currently available to private companies in Nigeria to enable them invest and expand activities across a range of sectors. October 16th marks the 71st anniversary of the creation of the Food and Agricultural Organization, whose primary objective is to free humanity from hunger and malnutrition. Focusing on climate is changing, food and agriculture must too. The theme resonates with the next UN Climate Change Conference, which takes place in November at Morocco. The African Development Bank is tackling the impact of climate change on agriculture and is considering how agriculture fuels climate change through a multi-pronged approach spearheaded by its high five priority, which is a blueprint for the implementation of its 10-year strategy 2013 to 2022. Online transport technology company Taxify has commenced business in Accra, Ghana. In Africa, Taxify currently operates in Cape Town and Johannesburg in South Africa and Nairobi in Kenya, with plans of also launching in Nigeria soon. The European Investment Bank and the National Bank of Malawi have announced a 30 million euro facility for the financing of private sector projects in Malawi with a special focus on the development of agricultural storage capacity in the country. According to NBM's Chief Executive Officer, new agro storage assets will greatly reduce post-harvest losses in Malawi and help in improving national development. The United States Embassy in Egypt has affirmed its commitment to bolster economic prosperity in the country by bringing together relevant parties to explore the unique challenges and opportunities for small businesses to thrive in the Delta region of Egypt. This program is part of a comprehensive package of technical assistance from the American people that promotes job creation, economic development, private sector business growth, and a stronger trade and investment environment. A proposal for the African Development Bank Group to launch a meeting place for investors interested in Africa has been approved by the group's board. Dubbed the Africa Investment Forum, AIF, the platform will showcase bankable projects, attract financing, and provide platforms for investing across multiple countries. AIF will also be a forum for international businesses and social impact investors seeking to transact and deploy funds on the continent. In tech news, leading science and technology company Merck has opened an office in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire was picked for its increasing economic, political and social stability. The German firm's affiliate office will be the regional hub for its operations in French-speaking countries in Central and West Africa. Following the opening of the Kigali Marriott Hotel in Rwanda, American multinational hospitality company Marriott International has announced plans to debut its stylish echo incubator brand Element Hotels in Cairo, Egypt in early 2019. The brand, recognized as an industry leader in the echo space, offers travelers a fresh interpretation of the traditional hotel experience with natural light, modern design, healthy options and echo-minded sensibility. And finally this week, multiple award-winning entertainer Akon has partnered with Bridge Partnership School, the Ministry of Education and others, to launch the Light to Learn initiative, which is aimed at increasing access to clean and affordable energy resources to foster quality learning in remote villages in Liberia. Through a private-public partnership model and well-established network of partners, Acon Lighting Africa has installed a wide range of quality solar solutions in 14 African countries. That wraps up this week's top stories. Stay tuned for a recap of the headlines. The European Investment Bank and the United Bank for Africa partner on private sector investment. On the World Food Day, we consider the ways Africa's agriculture adapts to the exigencies of climate change. Taxify launches in Ghana. The European Union funds Malawi's agricultural sector. U.S. Embassy promotes entrepreneurship in Egypt. The African Development Bank to showcase Africa's potential. German firm establishes hub in Côte d'Ivoire. Marriott debuts eco-friendly brand in Egypt. 
And finally, Acon lights up communities for students. For questions, comments, or to keep up with the trending business news, stay connected. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and connect with us on LinkedIn. These news and reports are called from Footprint to Africa. For daily updates and more business news in Africa, visit www.footprintsafrica.com today. Footprint to Africa, business news made in Africa by Africans.